Many thanks to our awesome patrons, Astrid Mulkin, Stein Peterson, Kat Simus, and Tracy Anson for the month of March. If you would like your name mentioned for the month of April and also access to exclusive content, be sure and check out our Patreon page today. Thank you all very much. And I'm Drew. You forgot again. <laughs> this is your intro, you know. Welcome back to Ashes to Feathers. I'm Hannah. And I'm Drew. We are a father-daughter team. We're excited to bring magic to you. That's right, and we've got something really cool here today. Hannah just had her birthday, as you guys saw yesterday, and we got a few items in that basically completed her four items of the Hogwarts houses, and we are going to review them for you right now. Are you excited? Yeah. All right, stay tuned. All right, we are back, and like I said, we have the four Hogwarts house items here in front of us, but before we get started on that, if you guys are wanting to be part of our team and would like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so right here above Hannah's head. Be sure and click that bell notification icon. It'll tell you anytime we upload brand new content. And we also have a Patreon page, so you can join a team on our Patreon page and it will give you specific access to certain things in those tiers. So be sure and check that out if you are interested in supporting our channel even further. What do you have to add to that? Follow our Instagram at Ashes to Feathers. And we also have a Facebook page. And Facebook. <laughs> I don't have Facebook, so I don't really know. Awesome, are you ready to start? Yeah, and we also have some new the core for our wall. <laughs> That's right. Well, you guys saw the video of her unboxing her items and you probably noticed there are some changes up here. We've got uh, some of the wands here and here and the Dolores Umbridge wand right next to it. Uh, the Ravenclaw banner is on the other side of the room over there since that is the Ravenclaw wall. The sword normally is hanging right here on this side of the Gryffindor banner because this wall is actually the Gryffindor wall. You can't really see it but up here above the wall, uh, there is a red banner uh, of paint, and then the other walls have also the house colors at the very top. Hannah's room is turning into quite the um, quite the room. I, I actually enjoy coming in here. <laughs> what kind of wand are you using right now? I am using Bill Weasley's wand. His wand is very interesting looking. It, it almost looks hand carved, doesn't it? It looks it's kind of like simple but also kind of unique I like it I am using Professor Slughorn's wand and for the same reasons as Hannah just described I like its uniqueness and it stands out a lot more than a standard wood looking wand because uh, this one almost looks like metal uh, with a metal handle here the uh, slug antennas here and then the trails leading down the wand not to mention how kind of odd and curvy the shaft of the wand is so uh, as far as I know this one does not have a shaft in it and if it does it's very short so this one can be broken fairly easily so you got to be careful with this one we're gonna get to the nuts and bolts of this particular video and that is the four items of the houses and that is the Ravenclaw diadem the Gryffindor sword the Slytherin locket and Hufflepuff cup all right well, do you want to begin or should I? So, I think you should begin with your own house. Okay. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> My house, as you guys well know, is Gryffindor. So, the Gryffindor sword is part of my house. And I picked this up actually on the marketplace. This was used. And um, this is a noble collection uh, item, but I'm missing the chain that hangs right here with the Gryffindor emblem at the very very top so um, the plaque itself is made out of real wood um, well I say real wood I think it's MDF wood <laughs> made to look like real wood uh, with a felt back and then um, this particular one is a little bit rickety because like I said it is used so I've got some damage down at the very bottom and um, the felt is also pretty tore up so I do have to change that out. But it does come uh, permanently affixed to this particular plaque. There is a bracket right here that has Harry Potter stamped on it, 
and then there are four little pins that keep the sword from uh, rocking back and forth so much and coming out of place this way. Uh, the back side, uh, it is held in place with these screws as you can see and then it is a very thin like quarter inch kind of plywood with the Harry Potter logo down there at the very very bottom. It is a really nice plaque when it's brand new but unfortunately I was not able to pick mine up like that. But the sword can be removed if you take those screws out and I do have plans to make a new plaque for this particular sword and I'll be utilizing those pieces yet again and I'll be putting in a brand new felt uh, backer just to give this thing nice dressed up look and finished for that matter. So eventually I will be taking this out. I'll probably do an Instagram story if you guys wanna see what the sword looks like without the plaque. One last thing that I, do, that I forgot to mention about the sword is it does have the Godric Gryffindor name running down the blade and the blade itself isn't sharp. Uh, so it does make a nice decorative piece, but not necessarily useful. So that's about it on the sword. This thing is rather big. Honey, would you come take this away from me and put it somewhere safe? Thank you. It's nice having two Hannahs around. <laughs> What's the matter? You act like you don't approve of having two Hannahs around. I don't like how I look from the back. <laughs> is that the way I look from the back? Who said that? Hermione Granger, where do you think I got it from? <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with my house item. So this is the Hufflepuff cup. It has a little badger on it and it's really shiny and pretty. Is it metal? It, feel, it feels like metal. Yeah? Yeah. But you cannot drink out of this. It's got one big drainage hole in it. Yeah. So if you pour wine in that, you better be ready to clean a mess up. And it looks like there's little stones here, even though there's not, but it looks like it. Mm -hmm. What is the big thing about this cup that wasn't specific to the sword? That it is a whole crux. That's right. That Voldemort made. So this, actually, the sword is the only thing of all of these that isn't a whole crux. Mm -hmm. Here's a pop quiz for you. Who did Voldemort or Tom Riddle actually acquire this cup from? If you know the answer to that, be sure and drop it down below in the comments. All right, well that is really cool. I like the fact that this cup is metal. I don't like the fact that it has a hole in it, but you know, can't win for losing there. But uh, the fact that it is shiny, it makes a great uh, looking cup to put on a shelf. It will stand out really, really nicely because it is a shiny metal cup. And uh, I do like the badger, like like Hannah, because you know that is Hannah's house. And the top, the bottom, I think, is also felt lined, so it doesn't won't scratch anything that you might set it on. So. And it is a noble noble collection item, and it's really not that expensive. I do believe that cup is probably about thirty five or forty dollars. So it's really not that expensive, and you can find this item along with some of these other magical items in our Amazon store. Find that link down below as well. So this is for Ravenclaw. This is Rowena Ravenclaw's lost diadem. All right, well, probably wasn't lost when Rowena had it. <laughs> this is a noble collection item as well. But I do have another pop quiz for this. Item. All right, what is your pop quiz? How did they get rid of the Holcux in the diadem? You know the answer, throw it down below. You love um, quizzes. This particular Noble Collection item is all metal, except for the blue crystal that is in the center, and that is a see-through crystal. Uh, there are some knockoffs out there that this crystal is dark. It looks blue, but it's not see-through. Wait, it's see-through? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And the crystals that dangle on the bottom are the same. They are also see-through. And one big giveaway on some of the knockoffs versus the Noble Collection is you see these little danglies on the ends of the wings. Uh, the knockoffs are basically stuck there. They're not uh, free like these are. They are mm -hmm. kind of molded in part of the wings. And the wings themselves also have uh, slats between each little rung right there so you can actually see through uh, the bony parts of the wings and a lot of the knockoffs are solid. It would be a little difficult to wear 
but it's supposed to dangle like that, kind of over your forehead a little bit, and you would have to pin the uh, arms in place in the hair. So I mean, it could be worn, but it's rather difficult to do. Yeah. Um, another thing too, the box itself is actually really gorgeous. It is kind of like a bifold hinged box like this, uh, and it does have the raven. Uh, the inside is felt or it's kind of satin lined actually. Uh, and it does have a molded piece inside that allows the diadem to actually register in its place and it's held there pretty sturdy. I mean, it doesn't move around at all. And then the box can shut nice and neat over it and has a nice friction fit to where it won't come open either. So I do like how this is presented. If you can do something with the box hinge, you can actually prop something in there and put it on your shelf and it would just kind of hold itself open and you could see the diadem really nicely. So I love that it actually has the words at the bottom of it. On the front, as Hannah said, uh, it is the Ravenclaw motto, wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. And it's scrolled in cursive writing all along the bottom of the diadem. And here's another pop quiz. What was the magical trait that this diadem possessed that gave the wearer? If you know the answer, drop it down below. The last one, last but certainly not least, is the Slytherin Locket. I really, really like it. It's good quality. It's like the same design on the front like it was in the movie with the little S and kind of like mm -hmm. the snake head with the tongue because if you look closely, you can see the snake's head. Mm -hmm. And... It looks like it's got some writing inside there too. It does, I can't understand that. I really can't. Has a whole bunch of writing on the back. Mm-hmm, yep. But it's really, really nice. And, and is it a functional locket? Yes, it does open up, and there's some like green. That felt? Felt, yeah, yeah. It's felt. Nice and soft. And you can put a picture or pictures in it if you would like. It's. A really nice locket. It's really beautiful, and in my opinion, this is um, my favorite <laughs> out of all of them. I would say that if you're if you're going to get one to wear, maybe get a cheaper version just just to give the ensemble you know a completed look. But this one is a noble collection locket, and if you guys saw the video yesterday, um, you know that the box that these normally come in, which is that. Uh, two-part display box that holds it in place was broken by the person that owned this locket. So unfortunately, I was not able to uh, acquire the box, but I do plan on yeah. making another display box for this. And I do, I like the, the facets of that glass uh, front, how they just come together at a point, all meeting facing that S. I think that is a really cool thing, and it's also the same on the back side. But that is it. So, um, in your opinion, which one's your favorite? I've always been a big fan of swords, um, so I, I do like having the Gryffindor sword now. So yeah, my probably my second favorite I would say would be the diadem, um, uh, but it's such a beautiful piece. It sparkles and um, it's you know it's just like one of those things that you just gotta have on your collection uh, because it is so pretty. I think everybody just wants it. Sword number one, diadem number two. What about you? The locket is my favorite, but my second favorite. I love the sword because it looks so cool <laughs> and I love it hanging up in my room because I'm like, oh my goodness, I have a cool sword in my room. It's so cool. If you guys have any comments, tips, or suggestions that you want to add down below, feel free to do so. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done that and you like videos like this, we would appreciate it. So from Hannah and myself, we want to wish you guys well. Please be safe out there. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And as always, stay magical. See ya. Remember, if you want to become a patron, see the link below. Thank you all very much.